Hello and welcome again to today's Long Straight Workshop where sets come to be looked at uh, for various reasons but this is a set of mine. I had it a few weeks this and it was back beside my bed so I listened to the day programme in the morning on Radio 4 and so of course uh, the World Service especially during, during the election until this morning. Today is Friday the 13th and today it stopped working. The light, by the way, that comes to work here. That's the only thing that does. Now, when the radio stops working, like this, just to you, look, listen, and try and feel. That's the first thing you do. Now, we know, first of all, that uh, any noise coming from it comes come from before the volume control. Yeah? And the tone control. Yeah? No tone no. Off one leg. That's medium wave. And it's got the... various shotwave bands, all of which do absolutely nothing. So, let's have a look and find out why it's, it's, why it, why it's decided to stop working on us. Russian sets, like this one, this is uh, Meridian, well, rarely do this act. I'm quite surprised, but, uh, well, nothing surprises me in this, in, in this business anymore, so I, I do and I don't, you know. It's a Meridian, it's a G, it's a 6 ICK211. Um, that's it really. So uh, let's get it apart and let's have a look, shall we? Find out why it's doing what it's doing and not do what it should be doing. Russian sets are normally no problem. Um, they, are, they are different to sets over here in one of two ways. Um, one in particular is the, um, the, uh, the, the uh, IF cams. Because in Britain and in America, and in the West generally, they generally don't, generally don't uh, put the capacitor outside the cam. In Russia they did. So, things such as uh, Mad at I, I, I after these and such like right, that uh, some people talk about does not occur in these sets. So first of all, let a look. Right. Again, like all Rus Russian stuff, it's really is built to last. This I mean, really is built to last. Um, I've, uh, I'll put a PP3 in. There. It had a it had a number of um, a number of uh, small batteries in with um, the with the uh, older but I'll take that out and put a PP3 in. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that that is okay. It, it's very likely to be actually because in this particular case there's nothing else it could be. Hmm. It's low, but not that low. Switch on, and we'll see how low it goes to, shall we? should be but I wouldn't expect that to stop this from working. Now on this there aren't many actual IF cans for them, plain enough it's all integrated circuits and uh, 
very few actual cans so um, one there that there this here which uh, I hope is okay um, that's okay so next thing we, we need to find out is whether it whether it'll um, it'll do anything but it should do rather than things it shouldn't these are probably okay here this is the input transfer just to see it at a guess as a guess um, these I don't know but uh, put it put it back on again and we'll start having a, a little pot of rain with something first of all something that's not conductive I'm going to wire off here in the, the antenna which, uh, which will cause problems and the switch here the switch first of all I'll, I'll give it a spray and hopefully that will uh, one thing with, bit, with, with Russian stuff by the way is that quite often um, this stuff is, 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 pardon the phrase, built like a brick, you know what. Um, this is no exception. And, and, and these capacitors here, you know, um, but, but we can change them uh, if need be. I will get the manual. But well, we, we start this job, like any job by having a good look around. Right, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Right, now, with the antenna disconnected, the IF should get through. So uh, I switch on the signal generator and turn it up. And I'll, 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 have a, I'll have a look with that and find out uh, what the IF is likely to be. It's most likely to be um, whether it's 465. Four, Plus four five five four seventy kilohertz. So I'll start there and see what what uh, what we get.
right. So the uh, the IF comes out like that. Okay, so the IF seems to be there, but there's no RF. So, um, Prince Will, we've gone through P, A, and I. So now we're going to look at R. Which leads me straight back to this uh, this wire here, which is which, which the beast we've come off. Looking around, the, I don't think there's anything else off. But obviously, with, with, with them off, of course. Um, this transistor here, I think it probably will be this one here, won't do what it's supposed to do. And the switch, well, I'll just have to um, hope for the best with that, quite frankly. But uh, there we go. So I'll, uh, I'll get the circuit and we'll have a look. Right, well, I've got the manual, well, the circuit diagram on my phone. I've looked in it and I found out where the, uh, the wire goes on, off the antenna coil and put it where it's meant to go and it's stayed so uh, that's, uh, that's good but it does actually not actually work terribly well uh, I got a very very quiet 5 live but uh, Tighten the loosely tighten the board and it stopped and tapping around I'll, it's either the wave chain switch which I've which I've which I've get it and get it and give it spray but that seems to be okay as far as I can tell or the, the tuning cap the tuning cap is I believe is I believe shorted uh, when in the, in the dial it's found the other end it crackled like hell when you turn it would suggest that uh, the tuning cap is the source of the, this set of problems. By the way, this set, has, apart from the outputs down here, doesn't have any, any, any other transistors in it. It's all done on, on ICs. And they're not the kind that you normally see. Um, that there, that there, that there, they're all ICs. They're not actually the kind that you normally see, but they're all ICs in there. And so I'm hoping to praying that they're okay. Uh, that's the uh the track until that's the IF. That, that that's the oscillate circuit. And uh that is the uh, IF with that and of course that is the uh pre eight put before the driver that is as far as I know that's for that I can be able to tell. I'll I'll know when I get back in. But um if I was to put was to pirate up now, which I'm going to do for you because I'm, I'm generous, you know. Power it up, there we are, and uh, switch on the radio. All the crackle all the way I've changed it which is has gone. Now it does pick up the lamp you see and also if, if we switch on the uh, seal generator and split it with that with uh, with IF at uh, I think four what, six five kilohertz it will actually get let that out too. There you go see I'll just turn that up. That is IF, I know it's IF, but whatever you do, do with that, the IF does the same, so that's the IF, that's the IF there, which is okay. So basically we're looking at either um, 
that or this or this now that would be taking the set apart now when you take a set apart don't just take screws out straight away just have, have a look and have a think because with this set if you take away take out the screws on the board the, the board might will come out but look at all this and all this because it doesn't take these out as well but if you look further down there were other screws in the plastic which hold this whole thing so plastic in plastic so i think the whole thing comes out as one from the case so um i think that is the way we'll do this so um always look before you leap with things like this never just take screws out because you, you never know what went where with it and uh, foreign sets do things in foreign ways obviously and uh, this i think is probably going to come out in a different way but we'll check we'll, we'll check we'll check so i'll uh, i'll what do you, i'll loosen everything loosen everything like that that one that one down there okay this one down here we can get to it this one down here there we go and see if we loosen doors will it come out if it will then that is much better than taking out all taking out all those wires so hopefully that will be a better way of doing it because all engineers like to do things the easy way it's part of the trade you know and i would rather not have to take all that off there if you have to obviously i will but i don't think we have to here so these come out a bit at a time and we'll see if the board can if the whole thing can be wobbled or moved if it can't if it can't then fair enough but it's it's worth checking is that part of it no, that's not part of it. No, it's that one which is off anyway. That orange, orange way is there, so these two have to, have to come off, but not yet. That will, and the ones on the, on the knobs on the front have to come off as well. So if I take the knobs on the front off, you know, one, two, and three, like that. Will it now? Ah, you see, straight away now we've got to, we've got to got to take taking the set out, out of the case without undoing all those uh, other bits so we're loosening these screws a bit more the, the memory here the, uh, the the sort of race memory as it were is to take out the screws in the board but i don't think we i don't think that's the way to do this so we'll take out these others here a bit at a time and uh, see what it uh, see what it does and does not do at that point we know the problem is in the RF section or the oscillator section we know that and we also know that uh, most of it Okay, always always take things out carefully and slowly always again it's uh, a good practice and uh, sometimes in here I actually follow good practice you know when I'm in a good mood like you know which isn't all that often you know I'll, I will follow good practice remember I don't, I've never seen one of these sets before in my life 
Yeah, this is the first one of these I've come across. So, obviously, I'm going to going to go, going to handle this one with considerable care. The circuit I've got, by the way, is the Russian uh, version of the set. The two versions of the set made with all the, with all the Russian sets. Uh, a lot, a lot came across here via by London, and they were um, actually. I'll take them off that way, that way, that way. But I can tell where they went. Okay, so that comes off. That comes off. Okay. That that's already off. So this one down here, which will come off. To get to it, and the set should slowly but surely come apart in the way that I want it to come apart, which is the way of uh, these resistors and, of course, these dummies to, to things like uh, tuning strings, which, as any radio engineer will tell you is something which no good radio engineer or bad radio engineer, any radio engineer wants to do. In the, in the day actually they were given to trainee to do. Yes I was a trainee once as well so yes I got a string of them and I, uh, I really don't want to do anymore quite frankly. Okay that comes out, that comes out, that comes out, okay. Sometimes it don't have to come back completely, but we'll uh, that one comes out. This one here looks like that has to come out all the way. Always, always one with the radios. It's um, shall we say uh, stupid, and yeah, I mean. Well, the hell did they put one there? They do that, I think, because people who design radios and people who and people engineers sometimes don't get on, and so for that reason, now in particular, they will actually um, put things into into radios to make them particularly awful to get about but the, the name of the game here is patience always 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 patience I can't stress this enough patience there you are okay so it's out of the case okay fine doesn't help me but it's out of the case. Right, okay. Tuning styles here. The, uh, the tuning knobs here, those are there. Um, right, okay. Right, well. Yeah, let's have a look. What I want to look at actually is a circuit board to find out there's nothing, uh, there's no brakes or anything in it, but which means taking it apart, at least taking it far enough apart to get in and, uh, and have a look. That's the next thing. Oh well, it's uh, just like I have to uh, take this board apart. If I do, what I'll do is I'll bring it apart and try and string it up. You see, uh, well, they're, they're okay, they're okay, they're okay. So it should go up that way. Yeah, if it does go up that way, then I might be able to get in and do something with this tuning, with this tuning, tuning dial here. But now I've got it, I've got it apart this far, and uh, I will actually uh, have another go. 
with a battery and find out what um, Again. So I've put that back on there for no other reason to make it easy to change. There we are. Have to get some some down conducting and uh, yeah, it's the tuning control here. So I'll look at I'll have a look at this in considerable detail and hope to goodness that that IC isn't uh, isn't defective because if it is, then I I don't know quite where we'll get one from. Um, I will put some feelers out, um, but um, I do wonder. Also with, with these sets, quite often um, small capacitors do tend to go up, do tend to, tend to go up in circuit. And also on top of that, another thing which happens is that the small capacitors also, maybe it's just, also tend to get very close to it to a closer than this one do, which is something else which happens. Right, well, a lot of uh, Russian sets are, are supposed to be good designs. But any country, no, any make, can have a bad day. And this is Russia's bad day. Um, it's not well designed. And um, I'm afraid the problems are. Um, more than one fold on this, how it worked for as long as it did, just sat up, sat up, it's kind of a bit of goodness knows, that's something in its favour, but um, I had to get the thing apart completely in the end, um, I got underneath the circuit board by taking the speaker out, which I've done, and of course um, this had to come out and I had to manage to, to spray uh, service on down it. It's working a long way back now, as you can hear. But over here, um, these, this is the uh, aerial for the uh, medium wave and I think long wave as well. This, by the way, is the Russian circuit, this radio, the, um, the British one that I couldn't get, but the Russian one was fine. Um, that chip is okay. I said chips on this are quite interesting. They're not the, the usual design in British uh, ICs. There are actually three on this, two, um, three different colours, uh, red, amber or yellow and green. Um, RF uh, in to uh, convert it to IF here, IF amp here, that's the uh, crystal, 
in there, the crystal circuit, what I get on the same basin and stuff. Now on the, on the circuit it's uh, it's um stand up, it's um it's that one there, yeah. So, 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 so that C that C D I see is one that I think have the problem. That's the crystal, that's the uh, IF I see there, which is which is yellow one and the green one is um is the uh, the air, the, the, the audio side. All in chips, apart from the input which are here. So in a way, if anything does go wrong with this, the turns it will be one of the one of these chips here, then you really are looking very much at uh, going and uh, putting it aside and, and trying to get a chip from somewhere off here, which is easier said than done, I've looked. I'm sure there are places but um, well, I don't know, and of course, get it, get it through the board and stuff, you know. So, um, but uh, there, there may be British versions of these chips that can be put in. I know Jay did a, a similar job with, with the Russian sets uh, from the, up in the late 80s. Um, that, that was an eight-foot stage, though. Know, so, I don't know. I don't know that one. That's no, that, yeah. But uh, it does. It does work, as you can hear that. But uh, then of course I've got to put it all back together again. And of course also put these these back around. I'm not sure where these go. So it's going to be a bit, bit trial and error here. And uh, so again, I've got this thing working in the end. But it will stay working. This is really not it entirely. But it is working now, but anyway, so that's something. I noticed that this with some of these wires actually affects the tuning as well, so that's something else. Oh, and uh, the tuning on this, by the way, the, the, uh, the tuning knob on, on, on this on this capacitor here. On some sets of this kind, it's uh, it's a more modern kind. They can't tend to get in modern transistor sets. But on this, it's the, it's the old kind like that, you see. And to, to, to the plates have... have and stuck together. I, I, I've cleared them because I've got to sort it the tuning down as well now. Um, there, there, there's quite a lot, lot wrong with this actually, despite the fact that the zombie basically suddenly stopped working. It, it probably got so far and then went, that's it, I can't do it anymore. But uh, now it's working. I'll put it together, but I'll do it very, very carefully. I'll do it very carefully because at each stage I want to check it and make sure it's working. Um, this this is to, well, I'll just hold it up so, so you can see. There you are. I'll, I'll put, put the light it up. The torch is there. Hold it up. See, it's um, it's these transit. It's these chips here. It's that one there. That one there. That one there. It's uh, the, the Russian IC numbering on these uh, was a new 1973 version. If you look online. But I can't find these chips exactly, although I do know what they are from the um, from Adrian Museum. So, um, an interesting one this, and um, hopefully we're on our way home with it. And if people, I, I wonder, would have um, would have got rid of this and got some new books. So we don't do that round here. We fix stuff, because fixing stuff is the way to go. I hope. I, I, I always scrapped it in here if it's been wet or dangerous. Other than that, there's no problem, I just fix stuff. Simple as that. Anyway, I'm now I'm gonna look at these wires here and see where they go. And um, what I might do actually it 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 look and see if anyone's got a circuit of the British design online and look at that and work out for that where these go because these here are the ones which um, do the VHF. Also by the way, there's a couple of Brushing capacity on here, which, which I think I might have to change as well. Um, one in particular, uh, capacitor 30. Hang on, capacitor number, uh, I think that 54, 34 or 54. Um, probably 34 going off this, which is 500 um, or 5000. I don't know what because I've done it, but I'll find out. But, but all it is, it links the battery, goes straight across the battery. And I think 
this radio is run but rather more current than it should so it's probably going to be that one or possibly there's one on the other side of R16 as well so um, I'll look at, look at those while I'm here some people think about keep, keeping the keeping them exactly right I'm afraid on a situation like this I would rather concentrate on getting the set right and working before you do anything else like that but uh, how you do it is entirely up to you I know that Shango likes to keep Russian transition in place but um, these Russian, these Russian uh, electrics um, they can be um, like all electrics can be uh, can be fun to work with with this circuit with any IC circuit if you need to prove that the IC is good or bad the, but what, what you can do in, in this situation is take the circuit apart this chip converts the RF that comes in off, off the air to the IF yeah and it does it with the oscillator which is also in here but the coils aren't yeah now what you do you find out where all the, all the, the noise is coming from and you do that by first of all I took that, that off there and the noise continued so it's not coming from that other, but that was put back on yeah I then took off this bit here the oscillator stage and lo and behold the receive stopped what well, the, the, the little there was which is virtually none and so did the noise now looking at it further I found a resistor that never gave, gave the same reading twice it was uh, this one here R3 which I've, re which I've replaced and now we have at last something approaching speech now that's five lives right now with, with this circuit being a, a circuit from a, a Russian radio they do things a bit differently over there and one thing they do differently is they actually put the aerial for the um, AM side of it actually in the roof of the receiver here yeah it's actually it's actually um, it's actually in the roof of this here if you look it's there you see and it's actually there so what I did was I put um, one of these on now also with this I noticed that the tongue wires off and looked a bit with round here so I'm going to put those on now and we'll see from that if it, if, if it improves it if it doesn't well we've got what we've got you know it is working a lot of Russian receivers are good when they work but when they don't um, things like this switch here we're still, still a bit dodgy um, need to be really left alone so um, in this situation I'm still not 100% sure about, about this chip but um, I can't get another one I've looped it can't get another one you know sometimes you get a set that looks easier but isn't uh, I've turned back to this tonight and I found it again crackle 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 noise no, no stations and I found that by tapping this chip here that's the red chip the uh, oscillator chip it came and went with not, this not disconnected it was the same with the disconnected it was the same so it's obviously this chip now where I'm going to get one from I don't know but I will because these are quite a rare set and this is probably why uh, this is my first experience with Russian ICs and it's not been all that nice but you know one set is not a radio or an Asian mate so I'm not going to say much about it most reasons that I've come across are fine but this one wasn't um, how it worked the way it did work when it came to me I don't know because it had been dropped and the cracks under the board and all sorts all of which I've sorted but obviously this chip now where I'm going to get one from I do not know but I will look online and look for British equivalent or something that would do in its place and modify the board but for now this set this set here is going to go on the back burner because I cannot carry on with it with it uh, with this chip intermittent I can't do it so this set is going to go, going to wait in the archives for one of those chips and one of these switches too by the way I'm not happy about the switch either but with this is connected all is disconnected this chip 
makes the crackling, makes all the noise. And what's more, if you disconnect the, uh, the, the DC to it, it goes away. So it's obviously this trip. Now, we, now, I don't know why chips were used in this way in a radio. That's the uh, audio chip there. Um, I don't see a diode actually on this, so I assume it's in this chip here, the IF chip. And that, of course, we know about. Uh, green, yellow, and red, by the way, which is uh, interesting. Um, all, all, all British, all British chips t tend to be white or silver, but this is different colours. Um, I can't get a lot more on these than I've already got. So basically, if anyone's got one of these chips, it's uh, K2 something or the A371. Can you please let me know because I need it here for this radio uh, at some point. Well, I'm not going to scrap it because it's, it's one of the kinds and um, I said, there are very, very few things about me. So uh, if, anyone, if, if anyone's got one or a scrap set with one of those on it and, uh, and the switch on it, well, do let me know in the comments and I will, I will be more than happy to pay for it to get this set going because this is going to be a good set when it's done. I know that because, because of before. Um, it's obviously this chip. There's no other no else it can be. And so I'm going to leave it until I get another chip, which I can do. Um, Jay did something with uh, the audio chip on his new Russian set, but an audio chip and an IFRF chip are two different things. Um, so I probably could, but I would rather keep it as it as it should be. So chip and switch and this set will be a go, I'm sure of it, but not just yet. Anyway, until next time, thanks for listening along, along with my ramblings. I'm a bit sad actually because this is uh, quite a nice radio, but um, I will sort it, but not just yet. Watch it. So, so we're going to go on the back burner and we'll come back to it when I've got that and that. I can't get them with the internet where it is today, but obviously uh, not tonight, and I've got some other stuff waiting so this will wait and so I get that and that and I'll come back to it. I don't know where it'll be but I will not scrap this and I will come back to it at some point. Sometimes with what Bob does you've got to do this you know I mean valve radios you can buy something else in even the IFs. Transistor only radios you can as well but chips is a whole different thing and um, like I said it's something round here, the chip itself, something in the chip, because if you tap the board, it doesn't, do, doesn't disturb it, but tap the chip and it does. And I've, I've re-soldered sold, the chip and it still does it. So obviously this chip itself. So until I'm about to get one, um, this set's going to go on the back burner. So until next time, goodbye, God bless, and uh, hopefully we'll get one working soon. Bye bye.